Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Ldio speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Grand Finale 2, which has been recently updated by Glaive Grand, a fantastic multi-effect audio processing app, which of course is a UV free compliant and it's particularly useful if you want to give that final touch to your mixes, stems, and much, much more. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, we are inside AUM. We just need an audio channel. And let's choose as an input a, a file player. And um, let's choose something that I previously recorded, this. And um, let's put it in, in a loop mode and let's play so you get um, a feel for what I have selected as an audio source. It's okay if it picks a lot of bit, that's okay for the purpose of the tutorial. So now let's choose a, a grand finale. So let's type FIN and we can choose a grand finale. Okay, let's click on it and double click to maximize it. So first thing first, the user interface, nice and straightforward. So what you need to pay attention is the arrows. So the blue arrows and the orange arrows as well. So it is organized in modules. So you can see one module here where you have an I pass filter, which you can use to actually remove, for example, low um, frequency signals, a little bit almost like the low noise, and you can do that change in the frequency here, that is why it's so low in Hertz, you have, an, you have an adjustment here in terms of input, and then you can select also different presets that are really nice. And then you can see the arrow here, it's going to this way, and then it's going into a compressor, and by the way, each module, you can enable them or disable them, clicking, clicking on the enable disable button. And you, you, as I said, you can go on the right hand side here into this compressor. You can choose what type, gentle, hard, etc. Then it's going into this multiband um, compressor. And you can activate it, deactivate it. You can choose also the different type, like extreme, squeeze, type and bars, etc. And then here you can adjust the compression, right? And on the right hand side, there also the makeup again, as it says here. And you can do that for low, low mid, high mid, and high frequency as well, which is really nice. And you can disable as well um, each band clicking here, right? Then it goes uh, from the multi band compressor into the stereo width. Again, you choose the type. And normally I go for wide and all, but that is not um, dependent on what you're trying to do, of course. And then it goes inside an equalizer. And then you can choose again the type default acoustic ambient, and then you can adjust the bass and treble. And then finally it goes into a master output and you have two level meters here for LUFS and RMS as well. And you have a limiter as well, which you can turn on and turn off. Then you can adjust here the lagoon. Uh, you can have fast and slow, or in the middle, you can adjust the final uh, output in decibels. Additionally here, you can also add something to the signals. Um, so you can add some distortion, which then go through a compressor as well. And then you have, again, mix, which you can set. Again, I'm going to set these as off for now. Why not? Let's choose these as extreme. And also this one as a one off fast two. Okay. And also this signal here, this additive signal path, you can solo it as well, clicking on solo there. And then, of course, the output, um, depending on the gain and mix, goes uh, back inside the stereo width module. Okay, at the moment, all the different modules are disabled. So if I click play, okay, let's enable the first one. And here you can see uh, straight away, you, you will find something on the meta here and also these um, halfway uh, in terms of uh, path, path or pipeline. You have another meter here. And uh, I show you that you can adjust the input here like so, down to zero. It will pick here when it goes to red. At the moment, you have a high pass, the high pass filter on, and let me show you also changing uh, the different frequency that it will remove depending on what uh, frequency it is, uh, the lower part, for example, when it is at 70 Hertz, but it depends on the type of music, of course or a file that you have as an audio source, as an input. 
You can hear at 7 Hz you had less of that bass, so it's nice almost to clean it up that big bass, if that of course that is what you are do, trying to do. Or you can set it to 20 Hz and then of course you have more of that bass because it lets through more um, higher, uh, lower frequency in this case. You have all, you can adjust also the output here with this dial. And you can see also the uh, meters which are changing when the output, of course, is less than zero. Or I should say less than minus 80 decibel. Now let's uh, uh, allow the signal to go through this compressor. And let's set it to why not hard. And let's change the compressor. Let me show you at the moment the limiter is not on so let me show you what happens when it is on and as you would expect it will actually start to limit the signal. Okay next uh, let's go inside this multiband compressor. Okay, and let's play with it. You can see in this case, I'm uh, compressing a lot of the low frequencies, so let's do that on the low mid as well. And of course, next it goes into the stereo wave. So let's set it to widen all and let's see if you can get that um, expansion in terms of stereo wave. You can hear in this last case we've set into widen top that you can hear that expansion on high frequency, but I like to keep it to widen all. And then of course let's enable the equalizer and let's adjust the bass and treble settings. You can hear some interesting differences. Now, the best thing as well is that you can add to the signal. So let's enable this uh, uh, module here for distortion. Let's set it to extreme. Not that you have to set it to extreme, but it just for the purpose of the tutorial, you'll hear better uh, when I add the distortion and also the compression and how I adjust the game mix. So let's enable the compressor as well. <laughs> So this is quite a nice app because you have uh, multiple effects all in one um, applications and it's very much um, useful for uh, finalizing your uh, mixing. So if you worked a lot, for example, in a composition and you had different synths 
and then you record it, the final result and you save it, for example, on an MP3 uh, or a WAV file or whatever, and then you actually play against it, um, against the uh, grand finale, and then you can adjust, make those subtle adjustments as um, as you like really and then you can reach that perfect mix that you're looking for the only thing i haven't shown is that you can enable and disable different bands so let's try so you don't hear anything lower low mid etc Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed this short, short tutorial. It's quite straightforward in my opinion, so I kept it deliberately uh, short because hopefully it is straightforward in terms of understanding how it works. I hope you enjoy. See you next time. Bye.